Hello and welcome back to another vlog. I'm quickly starting off the vlog. It's my birthday actually. I turn 28 today, which is kind of crazy, and we're about to head out the door and head to dinner with my family. Um, it's Friday. I got to work from home today. My boss let me work from home for my birthday. So, worked from home today, got off a couple hours ago, and then got ready. I quickly crimped my natural hair. I haven't washed it in a few days, so it's a little bit dirty, but put on some makeup and then changed into this little, it's like a kind of midi to low rise Princess Polly skirt. So I'm like not used to wearing things that sit lower on my hips. I love it. I got it. A couple weeks ago, I shared it in a Princess Polly haul that I did on my channel. So I'm wearing that with some sandals from this brand. I don't really know how to say it. I'll put it on the screen. It's T-K-E-E-S. And then I'm wearing this Hanes uh, Little Boys tee, actually. It's not a men's tee. It comes in a pack of five off Amazon, really good. I also cropped some since it comes in like a large pack of five. Great basic tee and then I have like a little bralette underneath it from Amazon as well. It's for the loom, I think. So it's kind of like, since it's so see-through, you kind of have to wear a bralette underneath it. So that's how I styled it. And then carrying this purse from Rebecca Minkoff. I love this style bag for summer. So we're going to Bar Italia for dinner. We went there like a month ago with one of our friends and it was really good. So we're going there tonight with family and then tomorrow night I'm doing like a get together with my friends. So it's gonna be a little weekend of celebrating and I'm grateful for another year. So we're gonna head out the door and head to dinner. Okay, I haven't spoken to the camera at all today. I guess let me recap the day. Christian and I went to get coffee and breakfast at Easton Market, which is like my favorite thing to do. I love to go get coffee, get breakfast, things like that. So we did that this morning. Then I just hung out, chilled until I showered and got ready for dinner. I'm going out to celebrate with my friends tonight for my birthday and we're all getting together and we're trying a new restaurant that we've all kind of been dying to try. It's called Otto's High Dive and I'm excited. They have a very small menu, but it's a small place, really cute, and I'm excited to try it. So that's where we're going. Just finished getting ready and doing my makeup, doing my hair, 
and put on the dress that I'm gonna be wearing. This dress I shared a couple months ago, it's from Princess Polly and I love it. I even said in that video that I was probably gonna wear it for my birthday and I think it's so cute. I love the, the color of it, the detail up here, little tie. It's a really good length and I'm wearing my favorite heels. I've raved about these heels for so long. They're from Lulu's and I've worn them to two weddings and they are the most comfortable shoes ever. Not too high, not too short, like they're super cute, tie up your ankle and I think they're under $50. They're from Lulu's. Most comfortable heel I have ever purchased. I almost wanna go back and buy it in another color because they're so comfortable. Like I'll be able to wear these all night and my feet don't hurt at all. Didn't need to break them in, didn't need to do anything. I love them. And for the price, you really can't beat that. So I'll link this dress down below and the heels. Also wanted to share what I got today. I briefly shared like a little video, but we went to Easton Market today. So it has all these little shops and restaurants. And while we were waiting for our food to be done, we went to this little shop and I saw all these little dishes that were made out of oysters. I can actually remove this little tag. And I loved all of the different designs. It's a catch-all dish, so you can put your rings in it. Here, I'll show you. So you kinda, it's like a catch-all dish. You kinda just put your ring or rings in it. Earrings, whatever. I thought it was so cute. It has little rose gold detailing and I loved the strawberries. I didn't take a clip of this one. I was just heading between like three of them. There was like a lemon one and then there was like fruit and flowers on one. And I just loved this strawberry one. So I picked up this today, I thought it was so cute. And I think it's so cool how they're made out of oyster shells. There was so many different designs. So if you live in the Orlando area, she might even sell them online. I know that she does pop-ups all over Florida, so she might sell them in multiple areas. But if you live in Orlando and you love this, they have so many different designs, different shapes, obviously, of different oysters. I thought this was so cute. So I'm gonna put this in my bathroom or by my bedside table, something like that. I also got Christian to take some pictures of me on this camera, trying it with the flash. I don't really take any of my photos on this camera. I only just video record. So I'm interested to see how they turn out. I'll try and get more photos tonight on it. I'm kind of interested to see. But people who take photos on this camera and use it for photos, the photos come out incredible and they look great on Instagram. So I kind of wanted to give it a try tonight and see how they turn out. Yeah, I'm excited to vlog we're about to leave and i'll share with you guys the restaurant the food and i'll obviously share tomorrow my opinion on it so i'm excited what are you going with kilo soda yeah how do you order it Hello, it's the next day. I'm about to run some errands actually. Last night was so fun. I just feel so grateful, so lucky for another birthday, another year. I felt really lucky celebrating with a lot of my close friends last night. Was missing a few people that obviously don't live in town. I just feel so lucky for my friendships and last night was just so fun. I also tried out taking photos on my vlog camera and they turned out so cute. Um, I'll insert a picture or like a couple pictures maybe 
of what I got on my camera last night and they came out so good. We got like a bunch of group photos. I got pictures with Christian. I got pictures with my friend Maya. I got pictures with Maya and Taylor when we were out. And I got um, photos of just like myself. They turned out really, really good and I'm really happy with it. So I think I'm gonna start doing that, using this for celebrations, maybe like my birthday. Maybe I'll use this camera for photos when we go to Italy. I do need to get like a little adapter for my phone to plug the SD card into because it's different than the one that I plug into my computer, but that's how I did it. I just plugged this into my computer, downloaded the images, and then airdrop them to my phone. And they turned out so cute. So cute. And I'm excited. So that whole like TikTok trend is very true um but apparently it's really hard to find these cameras now because of that trend everyone's realizing that this camera takes incredible photos but um yeah so i got really cute photos on this camera and i just had a really good night and i just feel really lucky and i can't believe i'm 28 like now i'm just like starting to get to that last half of my 20s or i'm already in the last half of my 20s but i'm in that last little bit of my 20s and it's just crazy i feel like older but christian's turning 30 next month so i'm not in that boat yet but we're just like getting older and i'm in by no means calling myself old because i'm so young i don't even call like old to me is my dad's age now he's 80 he turns 81 this year now i classify like the 80s as old 70s so young so young anything below 80s is young you have hopefully so many more years ahead i hope to have many many more birthdays to celebrate and yeah i i don't fear getting older um just comes with so many more great moments and memories and yeah so i feel really grateful but i'm about to go run some errands like i said i need to go to the grocery store you know the usual sunday i need to go pick up my prescription um go to the bank i need to get gas well i don't really need to get gas but i like to just get gas out of the way on the weekend and not do it like on a work day cuts into my workout schedule things like that so i just want to get out of the way i'm not completely empty but i will probably need gas during the week so i'd rather just do that now and there are two makeup products that i'm eyeing at ulta i'm thinking that I might go there and just maybe browse. Look at them, pick them up because it's my birthday. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I just got home from running my errands and I'm in this bathroom because I just started a load of towels and our other bathroom where I have all of my stuff, my makeup, where I get ready and everything is right next to the washer and dryer. So I came in here, but I wanted to share with you guys what I got from Ulta. So first I got something from Nude Sticks and this is inspired by Sophia Ritchie. That's not even her last name anymore, but I've been following her on TikTok, which I love. And I don't have anything from Nude Sticks, so I'm really excited. This is my first product from them. And I'm also really excited. I never buy new makeup. So this is really exciting for me but it's the nudies matte all over face blush color and i got it in the picante color which is this was the last one that they had you can not even do like a mobile order pickup for this they don't allow it i guess for their i don't even know if it's for every shade but this shade they had it in stock but it was the last one gorgeous okay so i kind of just wanna like try it on my cheeks i guess and see I feel like I would mix this with another blush I think it's so pretty I feel like you don't need a lot either let's do it on the other side I'm only like using the littlest bit I 
I feel like it just warmed up my face. So I got that. I'm so excited. I think it's so pretty. Then lastly, I got the Tarte Juicy Lip. And I got the plumping one. And I got it in the shade Mixed Berries. I usually just like lip balm. I don't really go for color. That's what it looks like. I feel like this has been popular for a while. But I wanted the plumping one just, you know, because I don't really have much going on. I have some lip on now. The Summer Fridays one. But I feel like my lips have like a nice natural color, but I don't really put any color on, but. Mmm, smells like coconut. Oh my gosh, it's tingling. I feel like this is just a little bit darker than my natural lip. It is definitely tingling. I don't think it's going to do much. I think it's so pretty. So I'm very happy about these purchases. My lips are tingling. I don't think it's going to make them plump or do anything crazy. Maybe slightly. But... I'm very happy with these two purchases. I will link them down below if you guys are interested. I really loved this color, the Mixed Berries color. They had also like a couple other fun colors as well. But I wanted something kind of like natural that just kind of elevated my lip color already. So I got the Mixed Berries one. But I'll link this stuff down below. I'm about to meal prep for our lunches for the week. And then Christian and I are going to go get some dinner. We're also going to watch the Heat game, which we're so excited about. But anyways, um, just wanted to share these products. I'm going to meal prep and do some more laundry, clean up, things like that. Okay, I'm just finishing meal prepping right now. And I just prepped our berries for the week. I got raspberries this week. And I'm going to store them how I store my romaine lettuce. If you guys have missed my vlogs, I have a ton of these little containers. And this is how I store my lettuce. I clean it and then I separate it layer by layer with paper towels. And then I seal it with a lid. And my romaine lettuce lasts a month in the fridge. I don't expect berries to last that long, but it's really easy for these to go bad, so that's why I don't buy them that often. So I'm going to try and test it out and see if they last longer stored this way. So we'll try it out. Just have a bunch of single layers of raspberries in here. We'll see.